Hello? Hello? Is anybody in there? <laughs> so, what's up, YouTubers? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I haven't really gotten into the whole blogging thing yet, but I'm gonna start now because I had some stuff to talk about and I was, you know, all day yesterday on the plane ride back here, I was thinking about, man, I wanna make a video. I've got some stuff on my mind. So, I'm gonna make a video now. Um, yeah, so I just got back to California last night. Um, about two weeks ago, my granddad passed away, so I had to make like an emergency trip back to North Carolina, where I'm from. And I, uh, I literally found out at six o'clock one morning, and I was at the airport by eight, so I just dumped some stuff in a bag and was gone. Uh, and I was out of here. Um, and I just kind of left everything as, as it was. Um, so that kind of got me thinking about stuff, you know, of course, dealing with, you know, the death of a loved one. I've never had anybody close to me pass away. I guess, fortunately, if there's anything fortunate about the situation, uh, it was, it was sort of expected. He had been in the hospital for about a month. So at least we kind of had time as far as, I guess, grieving and everything. Um, it made it a little bit easier on everybody. And then, you know, that got me thinking about stuff, and I was already, I don't know, ever since, like, the beginning of May, I've been in, like, this little rut. Uh, I went back to North Carolina and stayed for the summer, just to kind of get away from, from city life, I guess, and just kind of get out, take a break from everything, which I thought was what I needed, because I just had been in this rut before I went, that was why I went back to North Carolina, because I was in a rut, and it didn't really help going back didn't really help the rut, taking a break didn't really help. Um, my rut is, I guess it's coming up on two years that I've been living in California, in LA. It's not a big deal, I mean, it's not like I'm, you know, woohoo! But, it's just like everything, it just got me to thinking about everything. You know, when I graduated high school, I was just gone. I was, I was here within a couple of was it a couple weeks, a couple months, a month or so? I was here in California. And I just, I'm such a focused, goal-oriented person. I have like, you know, tunnel vision when it comes to my goal or what I'm focused on. Just lately, I've just been kind of exhausted. Like, I'm just tired. Like, I'm tired out. My resources are tapped. Um, I've had the same job since I moved to California, which I love the job. I love the people I work with. Uh, and I think any job gets monotonous, but I like the people I work with. And it's a great, great atmosphere. Like, I love it. I would never want to give that up. But, you know, I just feel like, man, this whole time I've been in L.A., I've done the same job. And then with the acting, it's like, you know, I guess any everybody in L.A. is an actor. You know, all you do is you get up, you go to the audition, and you hope that you book the part. So, I do that. Okay, I'll give you a list of my priorities. My priorities are one and two are tied. It would be working so that I can pay my rent and feed myself and acting you know going to auditions and stuff then you've got three which is acting class then you've got four which is any sort of random stuff that can help me in any way or better me as a person like with acting or or, or my normal job anything that can kind of better me or advance me along and then fifth which is my life and I feel like this little buddy has been getting neglected like I just feel like I've just pushed myself and for so long now and nothing has really changed or really gone the way I wanted I guess and I'm just kind of like I said I'm mean, just exhausted I don't know I'm just tired out I'm tired of everything I even thought about moving back to North Carolina like not that I would really want to like I like LA the first couple of months I was here I hated California like I wanted to go back because I was homesick but lately I thought about moving back just to go to school, kind of just chill out and not really deal with much of life. I'm kind of used to being an adult now, but the pressure still wear on me. Sometimes I wish, like, I look at some other people my age and I kind of wish that I was still living at home and still kind of just easing my way into life because, you know, I think it's living in such a freaking expensive city. My rent is like $1,200 a month. Um, plus the fact that I stress about money at every opportunity possible. 
you know, like today I went to the grocery store and because I had to throw all my food out when I got back because I was gone for like two weeks and um, yeah, and I didn't really have anything before. So I spent like $100 at the grocery store today and I was like freaking out and I shouldn't freak out about money because I've never not been able to pay my bills before. So it's no point in really freaking out about it. But I just stress about money and stuff and I'm just... I'm just tired of stressing, I'm tired of everything, I'm just kind of exhausted, and I'm in this rut where it's just like, man, dude, something has got to give, like, something's got to change, this is going on two years this way, I just, I just, I feel like I'm spinning my wheels lately, you know, not that I'm not accomplishing anything, because I feel like I'm accomplishing stuff every day, but I just feel like I'm spinning my wheels like, I'm just, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and I don't like this rut, I don't like it, I don't like the way I feel, I mean, I'm not unhappy, like, I'm still a pretty happy person, you know, but, I don't know, I just feel like I'm in this rut, like, something's gotta change, like, I just, I don't wanna do this this way anymore, like, I'm just tired of it, you know, I'm tired of, you know, having those four priorities take over my life, um, and then not be able to really do anything I wanna do, and, I'm just, something's going to change, like, at least by the end of this year, if not sooner, something's got to change, i got to find something different, something different's got to happen, I have no clue what, it's probably something I'm not expecting, or have no idea what it is, but something. Okay, so, I just watched the previous video, and I realized it seemed a little bit different, or my words were coming out different than I wanted them to. Just to clarify, I'm not unhappy with the past two years of my life. I'm thrilled with the past two years of my life. Like, I'm completely happy with they, the way they're worked out. But I'm to the point now where those, did I say three years? I meant two years. Those two years, you know, they're getting old now. Like, I'm, I'm, I need some sort of change to come in my life. So after watching the previous, or after watching the video, I realized that I wasn't conveying my thought exactly like I wanted to, so I just wanted to clarify for you. Peace.